recently released horror movie Doorlock is a story about a woman who is threatened by a mysterious person who invades her home and spends a night there after he knocks her out using chemicals. Gong Yoo-jin stars as the main protagonist of the film with Kim Yeo-won playing her supportive co-worker and Kim Sung-woo as a police officer. The film is adapted from a Spanish movie titled Sleep Tight. Unlike the original movie, which is rated R, the Korean adaptation is rated 15 and above. Though the basic plot of the two films is pretty much the same, the two movies tell the story in very different ways. Dorla unfolds from the perspective of a victim and concentrates on the threats and the fear that the main character has for her own safety. This creates tense and terrifying moments throughout the film. Sleep Tight, on the other hand, is told from the viewpoint of the assailant targeting a woman who lives alone, making the motives of the criminal a lot clearer than door lock, which gives most of the attention to the victim. Since the audience of Sleep Tight knows who the assailant is from the beginning of the film, the movie focuses on what will happen to the victim and whether the attacker will be discovered. The fun in door lock, on the other hand, is finding out who is behind the gruesome crime. Another interesting difference between the movies is the motives of the intruders. The assailant in Sleep Tight is driven by a feeling of hatred and the pleasure he gets out of tormenting happy people. The motive behind the crime in Doorlock, on the other hand, is out of an obsession that he calls love. Personally, I think Doorlock is shallower than Sleep Tight because it merely depicts the fear a woman facing a horrifying moment experiences. But Sleep Tight goes deeper into the story and offers a plausible explanation for the assailant's motives behind this crime. Sleep Tight also manages to keep the audience feeling horrified even after the story ends, while the ending of Doorlock feels quite obvious and a bit frustrating. But one thing I enjoyed about Doorlog is the effort it put in to give the victim power and the way it shows the process of her maturing instead of depicting her as one of those hapless characters who survives for no apparent reason.